Aquarius. This is a peek at your partner for the week of January the 15th through January the 21st, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for January the 15th through January the 21st, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for January the 15th through January the 21st, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for January the 15th through January the 21st, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, this is a peek at your partner. So, Aquarius, your partner has the King of Wands. I meant the Queen of Wands. Your partner has the Page of Swords. Your partner has the Page of Cups. Your partner has Justice. And your partner has the King, really, the Emperor. Goodness, these kings. I don't know why I was the kings. Listen, Aquarius, your partner has the queen of wands, Aries, Leora Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leora Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or your partner is wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So Aquarius could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using their intuition concerning something, or searching their emotions concerning something. Also, the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So new love, new start to love, or a blessing. Now, Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that they're using their intuition, searching their emotions concerning taking action towards new love here. Now, that could be starting new with you guys. That can be that they have new love or taking action because you have new love. But in tarot, this Ace of Cups, this brand new blessing could be a baby here. We have this mother sitting here and children are showing up. 
Aquarius. Your partner has the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also your partner spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is your partner doing their due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that there's some immature, premature communication had here, or they went looking and spying, researching. Clarify the page of swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the page of swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the page of swords for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. Your partner may be giving something here, receiving something here. Or they're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Now, Aquarius, there very well could be some immature, premature communication about the giving and receiving here. Maybe some type of payout. Your partner could tell me that, you know, they went looking and spying and they saw something here where someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two, or we're having this immature, premature communication concerning someone giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Aquarius, your partner has the page of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now your partner could be receiving love messages and an apology. They could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there is a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that your partner doesn't see coming. Something that catches them completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or breakup. Now Aquarius, this very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation, something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the tower for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the tower for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, your partner's wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that they're physically moving or traveling. Your partner could tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Now Aquarius, your partner could be surprised here because some type of good news, romantic news, or an apology is coming in to put things behind you guys and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. This cup could be coming into them here, okay? Your partner could tell me that, hey, you know, there's been a shocking revelation here of us finding love messages and hearing the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced. Because like I said, children could be here and your partner's saying they just want to move out, move on and move away from the relationship. Aquarius, your partner has justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. 
or your partner saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or your partner's dealing with something in the justice system. So Aquarius could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner could tell me, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. Your partner could tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or we're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Aquarius's partner. Clarify justice for Aquarius's partner. Clarify justice for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be your partner passing their own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could be passing their own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or we're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Aquarius's partner. Clarify judgment for Aquarius's partner. Clarify judgment for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Page of Cups again. So like I said, your partner could be receiving love messages and an apology. They could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love. Or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup here. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the star. This is you, Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting their wish, being divinely guided, following their destiny. Destiny, but Aquarius, this is you. Clarify the star for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the star for Aquarius's partner. What does Aquarius's partner think of Aquarius? What does Aquarius's partner think of Aquarius? Clarify the star for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not they want to continue to invest, whether they want to reinvest. They're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of your partner looking at their coins, their harvest, their bank account, looking at how much they have and how much they have to invest could be waiting on money so Aquarius listen I asked what does your partner think of you your partner may think that you're waiting your partner may think that you're looking at your coins looking at your bank account your partner may think that you're waiting contemplating and debating on whether or not they care to you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship however when it comes to you they may be asking themselves whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship because something could be off balance here and we're having this conversation concerning it, okay? So someone is needing to make a judgment call on whether or not we're going to forgive here, okay? So this is what they're asking themselves, whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship and start new. However, Aquarius, for some of you guys, we're dealing with something illegal here. Very well could be concerning children and some type of payout here. Aquarius, your partner has the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with. This could all be work or business for your partner as well. Clarify the emperor for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the emperor for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the emperor for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the nine of wands. 
Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a stance. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that they're highly suspicious. They have their guard up. They don't trust. Your partner could tell me that they're guarding something. Your partner could tell me that they're going to be persistent or they're standing their ground here. Aquarius, it just seems like there's some type of battle going on here. When I look at this emperor, this emperor is someone who's not willing to bend or concede or just to meet halfway or anything, okay? Someone who's just not willing to bend, okay? So standing on it. And the nine of wands is someone who's also standing their ground here who's not willing to bend. So Aquarius, your partner could tell me that they're ready to take action towards this new love. Now, this new love could be you coming in asking for forgiveness and a second chance and asking themselves, do they care to continue to invest, yet they still have their guard up. However, this new love could be that you have new love here, okay? <sighs> Aquarius, and they, this is why they have their guard up. But it could also be some type of battle that's going on in legal here, Aquarius, for your partner. You're going to have to let me know, Aquarius, this is a peek at your partner for the week of January the 15th through January the 21st, 2023. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.